Well, I think this album's really different from the other two, um, which was really important to me. I really wanted to to make quite a dramatic shift from what I'd done before, and a lot of that had to do with the fact that I'd been writing a lot with um, with with somebody else, and we'd been we'd done the first two albums together, and it was very collaborative and. So I, I, I started writing on piano, which I think really shifted it as well. And then from there, I, um, I felt like I wanted to make essentially an acoustic record, whereas the other albums um, had a lot of keyboards and guitars and just a lot of layers. And this time, I, I just want, there's something in me, I don't know whether it's like getting older or something, I just wanted simplicity. And then in terms of um, Björn, he was really, enthusiastic about me wanting to make an album like that. I think um, it sort of suited him perfectly in, in a sense because um, he loves, um, he's really fond of jazz music, and all kinds of music actually, um, and also of pop music and just the idea of um, fusing some of those elements that are kind of from jazz and maybe from blues and it just pulling influences from all over the place. Things right. Some time. Well, it started with um, with what I could afford, <laughs> which was always um, secondhand clothes. And um, when I was growing up, um, we didn't have very much money, so we would always shop at um, at uh, at Vin like at, well, we called it Vinnie's at the time. Which we had St Vincent de Paul. Um, I don't know if you have them here. But it's like a char the charity stores. When I was like 16 or 17, I just started really, really loving it and, and enjoying finding odd things and wearing things that it's it's a great feeling to walk down the street and, and think no one else is going to be wearing <laughs> be wearing this um, for better or worse. Um, but I don't know. I just I like things that I like old fashioned things, I guess. And I think it, musically and like. There's something in 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 old-fashioned things that, to me, feel like they're they're well-made or that they've been that, you know if they've lasted this long. You know, I'm wearing this dress that's like from I don't know. I think this is probably from the 70s or something. I don't, I'm not even quite sure. But you know, it's still it's it's still going strong. You know, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I admire that. <laughs> I had quite a religious upbringing, and you know, people like to make that into a bit of a cliche, you know, that, that you have this um, uh, really restrictive upbringing and, you know, in a sense, I mean, I, I had a really odd upbringing, um, I think, in terms of, you know, moving around all these different churches and going to these, like, nutty churches with people just doing strange things. And, um, but I don't know, people like to just see it in a very... Um, I don't know, well, I guess they like to see religion in a, um, a cliched sort of way. You know, you, you, I guess you're always struggling against people thinking that they know who you are and um, and thinking, oh yeah, I know, I, I know what they're going to do next with their music. Or, and that, that to me is always like a really, um, yeah, I guess no one ever wants to feel like they're bound by what people expect from them. You want to feel like you do something that's unexpected. And... Hi, I'm Sarah Blasco and you're watching uh, Music Slut Television. I can't say that with a straight face, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs>